Simon Bassey has made just one change from the side that drew down in Devon at the weekend. And that change is Anthony Wordsworth returning from suspension. But the full lineup is as follows. Adam Parks, the Watford loanee, keeps his place in goal. It's a back four of Sam Beard, Ben Nugent, Ben Richards Everton and Lee Vaughan. It's a midfield five with Themis Kefalas, Sam Skeffington in the holding positions. Harry Taylor, Anthony Wordsworth and Ephraim Mason Clark slightly more advanced from them. And leading the line for the Bees this afternoon is Tommy Adeloy. On the bench for Barnett, the young goalkeeper is James Callan. Number 10, the Canadian, Michael Petrasso. 19, Xander McBurney. 22, Josh Walker, who loves a goal against Maidenhead United. And 33, Antonis Vassilou. By Lee Vaughan, who's wearing the armband this evening. As they just get ready to go through a final few stretches. And there is a great reception from the B Army here in the Legend Stand. And here come the Barnet fans across, the oh, Barnet players across to the Barnet fans. Giving their applause. It's worth mentioning there will be a minute silence just before kickoff this evening. Obviously, it has been a very difficult year and a half for, for the whole planet, in truth. We've all been affected by the global pandemic. We all know people that have suffered more than others. And we will be taking a minute to pause and reflect on those that we have lost, members of the B Army. Maidenhead United supporters, potentially family, friends, who we've all been unlucky to lose to this cruel, cruel virus. Barnett attacking the Bees Terrace. And we are underway at the Hive. Immediately, Maidenhead looks at play it forward up towards Orsi, but Richards Everton is across quickly to deal with it. The ball is with Skeffington, who was man of the match. Away at Torquay, as voted for by the fans on social media. The Millwall Loney. And here's Harry Taylor, who made his 150th appearance for the Bees down in Devon. Wordsworth heads it forward towards Adeloy to try and get it on the end of, but Wiltshire just hooks that out of play. Crossing opportunity here for Beard. In towards Harry Taylor. Gets his head onto it. But it goes wide of the post. Still searching for that first goal in black and amber is Harry Taylor. But it wasn't too far away there. Just a few inches on the forehead off target. Corner is in. Has headed goalwards again by Kefalas. Just wide. Couldn't quite angle that one goalwards. There's almost a chance for him to make it back-to-back -back goal scoring appearances for the Greek. As we take another look at that now, good delivery. Keflas did find a little bit of space. And he knows he probably should have done better. It was a good chance for Femis Kefalas. He, as you say, picked up that bit of space and just glanced his head just wide. Didn't quite make the contact he would have liked. from Mason Clark does really well there. Now towards Wordsworth. And towards there from Mason Clark. Skips in. Dicks it in towards Adeloy, but too close to the goalkeeper. However, the flag is up. Just given a foul there. 
as Wordsworth on the stretch did just clip the maidenhead man. Adeloy does well. Sips it through towards Harry Taylor. Has Efron Mason Clark running in for support. Tries to play it back to him. Here's Adeloy. Strikes the maidenhead man. Barnett attacking with intent and attacking with purpose in search of the opening goal. And have a chance to Maidenhead to try and get a shot on goal or break the deadlock. Ball in from Comley up towards Ince. His sparks. It's going to drop here for Orsi. Here it is across well. To stop the Maidenhead danger man and getting a shot on goal. But there is the half-time whistle, and it has been a rather uneventful first 45 here at the Hive, but Barnett have had the better of the opportunities and have certainly troubled James Holden more than Adam Parks has had work to do. Clipped in towards Adeloy. Going to drop here for Mason Clark. Oh, he just slips at the, the wrong time. The clearance from Sheckleford is poor, and it's straight to Richard Everton. And now Mason Clark can run at the maidenhead defence again. Gets a shot away. It's comfortable for Holden, who holds on to it on a little bit of a moist surface as the Temperatures drop and there's a little bit of moisture in the air. Sprinklers weren't used at half time, but that was simple enough for the Reading Loney. His beard. On his left hand side, he has Skeffington. Of Mason Clark gets it into the box, crossing opportunity. Good cross, he headed away. Good drop here for Wordsworth. Here's Adeloy, gets it on his stronger foot. Good save from Holden, and that will lift the bees. Holden, the Reading Loney, boosted by news recently that he'll get another year at the Royals. Corner comes in from Wordsworth. Not sure too many Barnet players were ready. Here's Skeffington. Mason Clark out again to the corner take a Wordsworth. Good delivery in towards Kefalas. Just headed away before it could reach the young Greek defender. Slash midfielder. Another corner to come though. Skeffington to take this one on this near side. And he comes towards Harry Taylor. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Ricocheted off of a main head man. Another corner to come. What a great ball by the Millwall Loney, Sam Skeffington. Uh, you thought Beard was just going to arch it towards the far corner, and it, it looked like it bounced off a combination of a maidenhead man and Kefalas before trickling wide. Bees pressure keeps on coming. Another corner to come. Skeffington takes. A bit deeper this time. Wordsworth will keep the pressure alive, though. Might need a little bit of support. Actually, concedes a throw in and that will be a, a real let off for the maiden head to Adeloy just in the corner flag here trying to get away here's Skeffington to defeat to Kefalas Kefalas for the Wordsworth what a, here's a chance Harry Taylor cuts back Will he get a shot away, Harry Taylor? He does! It's a first goal for Harry Taylor! 151 games in the making. Harry Taylor is off the mark for the Bees. And Barnett, a 1-0 up in front of the Bee Army.
What a moment for Harry Taylor. I said at the start of the game that it had been coming for him. He'd had so many chances recently. He does so well to work it onto his right foot and he plants it past the goalkeeper. Absolutely no chance. And the roar of the B army as we take the lead. Brilliant for Harry Taylor. I cannot think of a man who deserves the goal more than him after the season he's had. And you can see by the celebrations just how influential a figure he is in the Barnet dressing room. Every outfield player there to celebrate with him. And Barnet take the lead as their second half start deserves. Here is another look at it. Cuts back onto his left foot, then his right foot, and then finds a way past Holden. And the Bees lead. Barnet one, Maidenhead nil. And the crowd obviously doing playing their part as well. Of course, just the second goal Barnet fans have seen in person this season. Will they grab a third for the B Army and a second tonight? Here's Kefalas. Urge to shoot. Does. Simple for Holden, no right down his throat. Commonly to clip this one in. Skeffington flicks that over, the head of Keach and now drives into the opposition half. Plays it to the feet of Adeloy who manages to keep hold of possession, still somehow Adeloy skips away, through to Wordsworth, what a goal that is! It's 2-0 to the Bees, Anthony Wordsworth has the Barnet fans in raptures, but that was all made by the persistence of Tommy Adeloy as the Bees counter from one end to another. Barnet have doubled their lead here, Barnet 2 made an head nil. What brilliant play by Tommy Adeloy, as you said, persistent. He never let the ball get away from him. It's an inch perfect pass from Tommy Adeloy. Finds it through to Anthony Wordsworth, who sweeps it home. Started with a little neat flick over the head from Skeffington. He found it way through to Adeloy, who somehow surrounded by Maidenhead body and slipped it through. A well timed run from Wordsworth, and he finds it way to slot it past James Holden and now the Bees fans are in fine voice Barnet are readying a change could well be the introduction of Michael Petrasso he'll get a good reception Aaron Adeloy doing really well up there as the, the sole man up top and he's done really well there Wordsworth as a go, might just drop forever on Mason Clark, cuts back onto his right foot. It's a wonderful save in truth from Holden. Here's Beard, cuts away, will he get a shot away? Can't quite get the ball out from under his foot. And Mason Clark has his effort blocked. The Barnet players are piling on the pressure here. Breathless stuff at this times. Is a, this is brilliant from the B Army as well. They're sounding their appreciation. Brilliant <laughs> double save by the main Ned goalkeeper. First one Wordsworth, that was a stinging effort, and then to get back up again and stop from Mason Clark, great double save. I hope our neighbours on Camrose Avenue haven't missed us too much, because they are certainly not getting an early night this evening. In comes the corner kick, far post is where it was aimed, but... Well claimed. Well claimed, and simple in truth for Holden. But he is lining himself up for it. He's going to take his dance box. It's comfortable for Parks. And does. And starts the Barnet counter. Xander McBurney back in field towards Vaughan. Picks it up and now McBurney comes forward again. A little bit of a late challenge running from Inns, but McBurney still manages to find Mason Clark. He's trying to run at Shackleford. Gets the cross in. Patrasso's there! Oh, everyone thought it was in from this side of the ground. And I, I don't know how he hasn't put it in, but he hasn't. And it still remains 2-0, but the Barnet fans are up on their feet. I don't know how it's not gone in, Aaron. I was just sat on the chair, just tapping a couple of lines to the match report. And I jumped up because I was certain it's gone in, but... What a great move again from Barnet and brilliant from Mason Clark. He's playing with so much confidence. It's great to see. It's a great ball into the box on a plate for Petrasso, who just heads wide.
There is the full-time whistle. Got and it. fans are back. And Barnet wins are back here at the High of London. It's a five-star performance from the Bees, really, as they win 2 nil over Maidenhead United. And it is a great reception they are getting from the Bee Army. Who flood forward to the edge of the pitch to show their appreciation for their team. It's, it's been a great performance, a great night at the High of London. Probably the best of the season from a Barnet point of view. What an evening. And, and a little moment for you guys at home as well. Thank you for sticking with us this evening. I hope you did get to see that second half Barnet display. As a great show of respect from players to fans, fans to players. It's been a long season, it's been a tough season, but could they just be building something here as we go into 2021-22? Simon Batty's Black and Amber Army is the 